Meet Zoe Laverne. A rapist. She's called me the N-word. She said it all the time. She's singing the song. A cheater. You can call me a a rumor. It's not something that Connor and I Stop wanted to. And now a mother? Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Iron Steph and you guys, uh, we got some stuff to talk about. What is up with all these problematic and controversial TikTokers becoming pregnant? Last summer, Danielle Cohn came out about being pregnant. Last week, James Charles came out as the first male to ever become pregnant. Now apparently, Zoe Laverne is actually pregnant. Don't get me wrong, pregnancy is a beautiful thing and if you're given the gift to reproduce life, that is amazing. But only a few months ago, Zoe Laverne was grooming a child and now she is having a child. I have a question is it possible to call child services on an unborn child because this girl is literally the racist female version of Tony Lopez okay so for today's video we're gonna be taking a look at Zoe Laverne's announcement she made about being pregnant and her response to all the backlash she's been receiving for it but just before we do it would mean the absolute world to me if you can leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already okay so a little bit about Zoe Laverne she was born on June 3rd 2001 which makes her very much an adult and she's had an extremely controversial and problematic career. She smoked on camera to her audience who mainly consists of 10 year olds and because her lungs are black, she thinks that she can say the n-word. You bitches catching a fade, shout out my nigga Lugusi. That word did come out of my mouth in one video. Well my niggas, my niggas, my niggas. It was a one time thing. I don't like. <laughs> She cheated on her ex-boyfriend Cody and somehow made herself the victim of the situation. I got on live and had the guts to tell you that I messed up. I didn't want it on social media. I didn't bring it to social media. He did. She cried over Charlie D'Amelio passing her and TikTok followers. Like she's so close to passing me and everybody's reminding me that she's gonna pass me. And she's done so much more, but worst of all, she was in a relationship with a 13 year old, a minor, someone who is six years younger than her. So I don't want to get into too much detail with the situation between her and Connor because it's been covered thousands of times. But essentially, a few months ago, Zoe Laverne was exposed for intimately kissing a 13 year old child named Connor Joyce, not just once, but multiple times. And I'm not going to show the clips because it's gross and well, flat out illegal. But what I will show you is that Zoe and Connor even had matching commitment bracelets. Yeah, like the ones that couples wear. And when she was receiving all the backlash for her predatory actions, she hopped on a Connor's live and said things like, Hi Connor, I miss you. I hope you're doing well. Miss you lots. And again, as always, Zoe couldn't take accountability for her actions and made herself the victim. It's not something that Connor and I wanted to be on social media. We don't know how it got out there. We don't know who did it. We just wanted it to stay between us and whoever did like the videos really shitty. So to rephrase what she just said, she is saying that the shitty one here is the one who leaked the videos of her kissing the child and not actually her. That's literally the textbook definition of saying you're sorry not because of her actions, but because you got caught. She cares more about the person that leaked the videos more than the disgusting actions she did onto a 13 year old minor. Her mother responded to this and not even she saw the problem. Anybody can reach over and kiss somebody. Guys, why are you doing this? Anyway, so fast forward a few months later to February 22nd, 2021, and Zoe Laverne announces that she is officially pregnant. And based off of this little recap I did, with not only a fraction of the offensive and just flat out wrong things that she's done in only recent history, well, you can tell why people are not happy about this. Now, don't get me wrong. All children deserve parents, but not all parents deserve children. And what I mean by this is that knowing Zoe Laverne and just the controversial things she's done, I do not have faith that she's gonna be a good mother. Now, right away, people were speculating and fearing that the 13 year old she groomed could be the father. And considering the extremity of what she did to him and she didn't take accountability for it or even see what was wrong with it, well, 
It's a safe assumption. We only know what went down on camera, but one could only fear what happened off camera. Anyway, so after all the speculations about who the father could be, she then posted this. This is the father of my child. Stop saying otherwise. How would that even make any kind of sense? Oh my god. If you can't even spell basic kindergarten words like sense, as in S-E-N-S-E, -S -S -E, how are you gonna raise a child? She also said, Connor is 13. Nothing else happened besides a kiss. Stay in your own business. <sighs> so, she publicly posts photos of her revealing that she is pregnant, knowingly records her kissing this boy multiple times, and then expects us to stay in our own business? No, no. The moment that she recorded those videos and made this all public online, she signed an invisible contract. If she actually wants us to stay in our own business and not worry about this, then oh, she picked the wrong career because honey, let me tell you, social media and being an influencer, you want privacy, you are not getting that. Now, after she revealed the news, a lot of people began making comments like, that poor child, let's pray for the baby, y'all. Sending my prayers to that baby. And I don't know how, but somehow she viewed these comments as being hateful towards the child. The amount of people that have the guts to talk shit about an unborn child is so upsetting and heartbreaking. Really shows the generation we are in and how a lot of you weren't raised very right. No, no, no. People aren't talking shit about the unborn child. People are talking shit about you. A racist, cheating, problematic child groomer who is now having her own child. This clown talks about how people in this generation weren't raised right. Yeah, okay, because apparently kissing a year old when you're an adult is being raised right. Yeah, Zoe Laverne definitely was raised perfect. Okay, so y'all might be wondering who exactly this father is and let me just start off by saying no, no, it is not Tony Lopez in a disguise. I know it's hard to believe considering that the two of them are very similar. Zoe and Tony do share two things in common. First thing, their names rhyme and second thing, they both like little kids. Okay, so the official father, or who at least she claims to be the father, is some guy named Dawson Day. And he looks a lot like her ex-boyfriend Cody, which is, to be honest, kind of creepy. But the good thing about this is that he's of age. Yes, he is 20 years old and a legal adult, so. Good job, Zoe. You did good on that part. This shouldn't be an accomplishment, but that, that's how sad life is, you know, that I am happy and cheering that she is in a relationship with someone her age. Now the bad news is they're not even married. They've been dating for only about three months. It's nice that so far he hasn't left her to you know deal with all this on her own. But statistically once this child is born you know I would not be surprised if metaphorically speaking let's just say he goes to buy some milk. And the truth is that Zoe has so much issues of her own and is not ready to be raising a child. So although I do not support many of the offensive and problematic things she's done in the past, at the end of the day, this is real. She is pregnant and she's going to be giving birth to a child. And for the child's sake, I really do wish Zoe the best. I don't know, maybe this baby will like enlighten her or something, give her some like spiritual awakening. I don't, I, I don't know. Because just like pets, babies can be very therapeutic, but I do hope that that's the case. I hope that this is a good thing. And at the end of the day, I really do worry for the child that's about to come. Anyways, I wanna know what you think about this. So leave a comment down below and I will be reading and responding to a bunch of comments. Also, if you did like my kind of, I guess, satirical take on this news, then make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. But anyways, until next time, it's been Ivan Staff. Peace. I am literally the star of TikTok.